Hey guys, we're just going to be looking at SIP modules today. My name's Kendu. Thanks for tuning in, and let's get right into it. All right, guys, to start things off, we got the donation access license. This is going to give you maximum magazines for your support weapons that you call down. Honestly, this is an automatic thing you need to buy before it, buying any of the other SIP modules. This is automatic first thing you need to buy, so it's just going to happen. Uh, streamline request process. This is going to reduce your cooldown time or your strategy on support weapons by 10%. Honestly, this is not something that I would be diving into right away. Um, once you call down your support weapon, most of the time you're going to have that thing with you till the end of the match. The only t There's rare circumstances that you're going to die, and it's just not going to be the in your best interest to be running back to pick up your weapon. It's almost at the point where you're just going to run. Uh, hand cards. This is going to reduce your stratagem cooldown time for your backpacks by 10%. Same thing. Most of the time, you're going to throw down your, your support pack and you're going to put it on. You're going to have it on for the most of the round. And chances are, when you get reinforced, your teammate's going to be throwing you right back towards your equipment anyway. You're just never going to really ever need it. Orbital cannons, the exploding shrapnel. Now, I haven't done full tests on this to see how far that damage fall off is that it reduces it by, but honestly, I really don't notice a big difference at all. Um, so honestly, when you buy this, this is, you're, you're basically buying this to get to the other um, ship modules for that section. More guns, one additional salvo per barrage. This is pretty good. Um, this is going to add another salvo barrage in your, you know, your 120, your 380. Um, this is going to give you an extra barrage in that most of the time this is just going to kill your teammates anyway because people just throw their ordinates into the hole and don't tell their teammates and they just end up dying. Uh, the zero G breach loading. This is going to reduce the cooldown time of your oval stratagems by 10%. Um, this is actually really nice if you're a person that uses the orbital laser or the orbital rail cannon this does come in handy. Um, I usually keep mine on cooldown most of the time. Anytime my orbital cannon comes up, I'm pretty much throwing it right back out at something. The hangar. Now, this is just my opinion, but this is the section that makes the most difference out of all of your stratagems if you use the Eagle, which most people use the 500 kilogram bomb. It is by far the best thing that Eagle has. And when you go through this list of what the hangar gives you, you'll see that every single one of these is just clutch. Every single one of them. The liquid ventilated cockpit, this is going to reduce the cooldown time on your Eagle by 50%. This is pit crew hazard pay. Now this one's really great as well. This is going to reduce the rearm time of all your Eagle cooldowns by 20%. So once you throw out all of your Eagle stratagems or if you call for the Eagle to rearm, it's going to reduce that time by 20%. This is a really great thing. This is going to get your bombs to come back faster, your airstrikes to come back faster. All around, really, really good. The expanded weapons bay increases number of eagle stratagem uses per rearm by one. So just straight out, it's just going to give you an extra bomb or an extra airstrike, extra cluster bomb, whatever your eagle stratagem is that you use. It's going to give you an extra one. Now this is really, really good with the liquid ventilated cockpit because that's going to reduce your cooldown time by 50%. On stock, you only get one 500 kilogram bomb. By getting this, this is going to give you two. This is automatically just going to increase the amount of bombs you can put out twice as much just because you're, you know, doubling down on how many bombs you have. Now, with all three of these, the 50% cooldown time, the 20% rearm time, and the one rearm or one extra bomb. All three of these just make your 500 kilogram bomb that much better. Every single one of them contributes and actually makes it that much better. It, this is by far what I would spend my samples in, no matter what first thing. The bridge. Now we're going to start with this. The targeting software upgrade reduces deployment time for orbital stratagems by one second. This is just going to make your orbital cannon go off one second faster once you throw the stratagem. This is really nice with the rail cannon because as soon as that stratagem hits the ground, it automatically activates like that. Um, it's a very fast activation time for that. Everything else still takes a long time. The barrages take a long time. Um, so yeah, this is just really, really good for that rail cannon, in my opinion. Uh, the nuclear radar. This is really nice support thing to have for yourself. Um, when you open up your radar, this gives you 50 meters extra to ping out where your enemies are on the map. Now, if you're doing a solo run, this is where it comes in really big. On the egg runs by myself and solo, I will just run nest to nest to nest and most of the time miss every single patrol. 
Uh, power steering improves the steering of your hell divers hell pod deployment now I'm gonna be honest with you this was the last thing that I bought for myself because I wanted to upgrade all my weapons and everything first but this is actually really really good with stock you can barely move your hell diver pod anywhere where you need it to be but with this power steering you can almost cut across the whole screen with how much distance that thing can turn it is so much nicer synthetic supplementation Reduces cooldown time for sentry and placement and resupply stratums by 10%. Now, out of all the cooldown time things, like the backpack, the support weapons, all that stuff, this is the one that would actually be the good one to buy out of them all. Sentries, if you use sentries, you want that thing coming off its cooldown ASAP. Um, when you're holding down a defense, if you're holding down the extraction zone, this is really, really nice to have your sentries coming off the cooldown ASAP because you're going to be throwing them out right away as soon as they come back advanced construction now this one i'm gonna be honest with you it's it's not great it's not great you think having that extra 50 percent health for your sentry is going to be great but honestly it doesn't really make that much of a difference the reason why is most of the time what's going to be killing your sentries is either a titan a crusher or any robot that's going to be shooting missiles or anything at it any one of those three things it doesn't matter how much health you have on your sentry it's going to kill at one shot this is good for when there's little mobs going up to your sentry to kill the sentry, but I'm going to be honest with you, you're going to be there to protect your sentry because it's going to be kind of close to you in one way or another, and when you see little mobs going up to it, you're, you're just going to end up shooting them anyway. You're never going to leave your sentry alone to let it little mobs get up to it, depending on the sentry. A Gatling sentry is never going to have those issues, um, but like, say, a mortar sentry or a rocket sentry, you're, you're going to be watching. It's just going to be how it is. The rapid launch system now removes deployment time for emplacement stratagems that is something to really keep in mind when i first looked at this and i didn't even look at the affected stratagems to see what it all affected i instantly just thought that was going to increase the deployment time of my sentries it does not it's only going to be for any emplacement so your minefields and sanitary mines the hmg emplacement um, your relay, Tesla tower, yada, 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 yada. Honestly, this is completely bogus. I would never use your super samples or any of your samples on this. This should be the last thing you buy because these are things that you're just never going to use. Uh, the robotics workshop, we're going to start with the dynamic tracking. Now, with reduces the deployment time for all sentry stratagems. On, honestly, same thing. If you're a person that likes to use sentries, this is going to be something that you want. Gets the sentry down faster. Makes a huge difference um from there the shock absorption gel now this is going to increase your ammo for all your sentry stratagems by 50 percent this is really nice on paper but it all boils down to how you play and how you set up your sentries it's very important where you're placing them if you're going to be placing them in an area where they're just going to get murdered right away the extra ammo doesn't matter because it's dead vice versa if you put it in a good spot where it has an advantage point, where it can see a lot of stuff, it's going to take a long time for things to get over to it. This is going to be really nice because it's going to have 50% ammo. Out of all this sentry stuff, I think this is the best one out of them all. Um, from there, you have high quality lubricant. Now this, it really depends on what you're doing. If you're running away and throwing a sentry, it's great for that. The big thing with sentry placement, whichever way you're facing when you throw your stratagem, that is the direction your sentry is going to be facing when it spawns. So if you're trying to aim at a titan, say you're trying to throw down an auto cannon sentry, make sure you're facing this, the titan when you throw your stratagem. Automatically, your sentry is going to pop out and be aiming that way automatically. Most of the time, as long as you're aiming in the right direction where you want your sentry to start firing, this is not going to be something that you're going to really need. Don't get me wrong, it is nice to have because you do notice the difference of it rotating. But as long as you're placing your sentries in the right position, going in the right direction, you're never going to need this really. It's going to be doing the job that it needs to do. So yeah, that's ship modules in a nutshell. Just out of my opinion, what you should be buying by far, what I would be jumping at first is these hangar upgrades. They are by far the best from there, depending if you want that quality of life change with the nuclear radar or the power steering those are really nice to have especially the radar for solo the power steering just for uh, maneuverability when you're respawning in sometimes you just have absolutely no control and you're just getting sent to the worst spot possible coming back in just die right away because you're just surrounded um but from there you know the hangar I would try to get the extra ammo into the sentries because if you're placing these right it makes all the difference in the world 
And then from there, it's kind of free game from there. I would kind of mainly stick to your orbital cannon, the hangar, and the sentries. First off, everything else can kind of just trickle in as you get your samples for them. But these are going to be the ones that are really going to put you on that next level for the high-level difficulties. All right, well, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You guys have a great day.